Hi. One of the expensive operations in any database code, usually even when we use Hibernate or even JDBC, is establishing a connection to the database before we execute any SQL statements. Instead of opening a connection every time we execute a SQL statement and then closing it, we can use connection pooling which improves performance. Connection pooling is a feature or a service provided by most of the application servers and web containers wherein they create a set of connections, a pool of connections and then our program, our client program can get one of those connections from the pool, can request one of those connections, make use of them and when we don't use that connection in one part of our application, it will go back into the pool and another part of our application can use that connection. So if we have 100 servlets, if one connection, one servlet is using a, calling into a DAO class which is using one of the connections and there is a, another servlet which needs a connection. If the first servlet puts that connection back, the other servlet can then later on pick up that connection. And the way we do connection pooling in Tomcat, it slightly varies from server to server, but the basic concept remains the same. Uh, in Tomcat, the first step is to copy the driver jar file. If it is Oracle, it is OJDPC6 or 14.jar. You copy the jar into the Tomcat's lib folder. That is the first step. And then you add the resource element, which is an important element, into the context.xml file of the Apache Tomcat, which you can find under Tomcat's conf folder. So here in the resource element, you tell Tomcat what type of data so what is the type of object you want to create so java source is a factory of connections no matter whether you are connecting to mysql or oracle java java source will is a factory of connections it has all the, it has it is like a pointer to the connection pool then you give it the username password to the database along with driver class name and URL. There are several other parameters which you can pass or attributes on the resource element like the number of connections, the maximum number of connections you want to create, etc. So when you give this element and when you, re when you start your Tomcat, Tomcat reads this element from the context.xml. It creates the number of connections you have specified using the resource element, puts them in the pool using the information like driver class name, using the driver you have provided and the driver you have put into the lib folder. And it creates a, this DSN and puts it into a JNDI server. It's a naming, Java, JNDI stands for Java Naming and Directory Interface. When I, when I show you how to retrieve the connection from a connection pool in the next presentation, I will go into the details of JNDI. But for now, remember that the data source it creates, which is a factory of connections, is put into the JNDI server using the name which we give here. We can retrieve the data source in from our program using the JNDI API, which as I said, I will show you next in the next presentation by passing this name. If you give this name, you will get that JND, uh, the JNDI value for JNDI data source, the object of the data source. Then you can say ds.getConnection, it will get you one connection from the pool. The data source is a factory of connections. So this way we improve the performance in our application by reusing the existing connections. In the next presentation, you will learn how to retrieve a connection from the JNDI server using through uh, the data source, from the connection pool through the data source.